I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. As we step on the gas and move on to the pick six, race number three, 1345. They'll do battle down the lane over 1,200 metres at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. And the favourite is number 10, Cat's Pyjamas at 5 to 2. Glamour's number 2 was 4 to 1. And the number 6, Run to Rio at 5 to 1. Now let's go to the interview package, Michael Roberts and Stuart Ferry. Yes, I like what I was seeing, you know. Uh, you know, he's going the right way. Although he's, he, he can be a little bit uh, cultish, but um, also, you know, um, I think he'll run a nice race again. Yeah, no, he's got us confused. You know, we went a little bit further last time and that didn't seem to work. So, back at Scott's for his best formers. And if you look, you know, he's, he's been beaten by some decent horses when he's run second there. So, uh, yeah, like I say, back where he's always run his best races and we're hopeful. Oh, definitely. You know, he, he, he didn't know what to do the first half of the race last time. And, you know, once a penny dropped, you know, uh, he was staying on us at the finish, so um, I'm hoping for a lot of improvement. Opening leg of the pick six, the favourite number 10, Cat's Pyjamas, a really well-bred son of Rafif out of the Varme Sea Cat. And Cat's Pyjamas hopefully can come forward and strike. He is a two-year-old, he's a two-year-old Bay Colt, so he will be taking on the Elders. We've also got number seven, Mr. Hot Stepper, who's a two-year-old, so they're getting their careers off. Lucky Spirit, so the two-year-olds are out in full force to take on the field. Devon, let's talk about number 10, Cat's Pyjamas, who made an eye-catching debut. I remember calling that race, I think I called that race on that occasion. He moved up very, very dangerously to a point, and then just that last 100 metres, he just seemed to run a little bit green. From the first run to the second run, being a two-year-old, taking on the elders, what do you make of his prospects? Yeah, I think uh, he's got a massive chance here, Sheldon. I remember the manner in which he moved up in that last race. He looked like he could possibly uh, win the race on that occasion. And I had a good look at this horse going, going down to the start. And he looked really, really well. He's a really good looking horse. I'm expecting a massive run from number 10, Cat's Pajamas. Does form part of my top two selections. Then on to the filly. So we've got a real mixed bag of runners here. The two-year-old last winter, Glamours from the Paul Lafferty stable. He has a horse who's been second on three occasions, stretched over the 1,400 last time, not disgraced, knocking hard on the door. And I think the 1,200 metres will be ideal. Yes, this is my narrow first selection. Uh, currently trading at around about four to one. That's uh, the early anti-post betting market. I just like the fact that this horse is only shouldering 54 and a half kgs. Uh, Muzieni knows the horse exceptionally well, <clears throat> and the dropped 1,200 meters could make all the difference. Um, ran well enough at Scottsville, so for me, a big, big chance. Number two, Glamours. Then a horse, obviously, we've got to mention to number six, Run to Rio. He's a three-year-old son of Oratorio. This is from the Stuart Ferry Stable. He is taking his time to win the maiden. He's having his 10th attempt. They've tried quite a few different things, up to a mile, 1,200, 1,400. And on this occasion, Sean Veal jumps back aboard. Decent second to Mardel Plata, Plata in the penultimate run. Second before that, second before that, Fire Tonics come through to Frank the form line. He's a bull of a horse, this individual. So touch on number six, run to Rio. And then number eight, Magma Magic. I think there's a lot of improvement still to come. Yeah, there's plenty improvement to come. Last time did take a slight drift in the betting market, but only finished 2.95 lengths behind Gorgeous Guy. Prior to that, the form was good. Overall, the form is good, and there's plenty more to come with this individual. Currently trading at around about 8 to 1. You cannot ignore the chances of number 8, Magma Magic, with Jabu Jacobs aboard. But if I'm taking a pick 6, I'm going to be taking a big chance here. I'm throwing in two numbers. Numbers 2, Glamours, and number 10, Cat's Pajamas. I think the winner will come from one of these two. So there you have it from Devon. He's going to take his chances, Glamours and Cat's Pajamas, and hopefully one of the two will come through and do it for you. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. 
was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.